Last week, we opened some of the new 2023 Tops Composite uh, Hobby and Breakers boxes, and I got called a paid shill for doing that uh, because these cards are unlicensed, and apparently a lot of people don't like these because they are unlicensed, and to those people... I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you <laughs> We don't care. Jerry. Today, we're going to be opening four of these 2023 uh, Tops Composite Megas and Blaster boxes. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Andy with Acme Packs, and I welcome each and every one of you back for a new video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the 2023 Tops Composite uh, Football Blaster Boxes and Mega Boxes. So, as we know from my video uh, last week for the Hobby and the Breakers Boxes, those these are unlicensed cards. Um, Tops first unlicensed football set, and I love it. I think this is a very, very, very fun product. Um, I'm excited to do some retail for it. Um, hobby and breakers boxes were awesome. I would definitely lean towards the hobby boxes if you guys are looking to pick up any on, uh, um, on the high end side. Um, but retail today, we have four megas, four blasters. Blasters are coming in at $30 a piece and megas are coming in at uh, $50 a piece. I've heard the megas are very, very good for this. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Show you guys what you can expect if you are looking to pick up any yourselves. We got three of the blaster boxes, or sorry, four of the blaster boxes. Let's do those first. Um, like I said, I love this product. I'm putting my money where, where my mouth is for this one. Um, I gave it a glowing review last week. Um, <laughs> a lot of people were pretty upset about it, to be honest. Uh, I, I couldn't believe it. Um, a lot of people, you know, called me a paid shill, uh, called me um, a paid influencer for fanatics, and <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I couldn't believe it. The amount of beatings that I take on a weekly basis making these videos, um, and I'm not complaining at all because I know it comes with the territory of being a content creator, but I think it's just funny. Um, but if you if you want any evidence of that, go back and watch my Contenders Optic video. I think that was a thousand dollar video to make and I probably netted maybe a hundred dollars back in cards so this all comes out of my own pocket um but uh here is the blaster we got a pink Danny Amendola on the all etch um there's a Chad Johnson so you get two retail exclusive inserts uh per box for um the blasters and then you can get on card autos um I don't think you can get the RPAs though and you can get uh, Chrome Autos as well. There's a Sean Alexander on the Midnight. And Sterling Sharp on the Foil. So that's a short print. Cool. But I have been seeing nothing but, you know, good things coming out of these. You can get Tom Brady Autos, CJ Stroud, Will Levis, uh, Anthony Richardson, and Bryce Young. Of course, <laughs> Will Levis and Bryce Young did not do very well week one. So we're looking for the other two guys, plus Tom Brady. Uh, there's <laughs> Bryce Young on the Refractor. Uh, the Resurgence, and a Peyton Manning. Okay. We'll take it. I Again, I think they did a fantastic job with these cards. I thought that basketball was definitely lackluster. Um, football, much better in my opinion. Much better. And this is going to be a longer video today because I wanted to rip a bunch of this. We have a Midnight of Kellen Winslow. Modern Artist there. All right. So what I want to see out of these, I want to see a numbered card or two. Or two. Um, we're going to have a J.J. Watt on the pink. It's a nice looking card. Ooh. On the pink, he does have autos in this. So if you guys are unaware of Topps Composites, um, this is all retired players plus um, the four quarterbacks that you're chasing from 2023. Ooh, we have a, looks like a prism here. Jason Seahorn, we're going to have a Boomer Esiason on the Prism. Those are non-numbered. So that must be the uh, retail exclusive parallel, which the pink and the Prism must be. Um, but you got the four quarterbacks plus the, because uh, they're all with Fanatics. And then, um, ooh, checkerboard, X-Fractor. X-Fractor of Doug Williams. So that's going to be non-numbered as well. Um... So, not a bad set if you like Legends. Um, of course, 
you're really, in my opinion, chasing those four quarterbacks, and then Tom Brady is going to be your other guy that you're really looking for. But you can hit some other great stuff in here. There's a Will Levis on the base. Um, okay, so blaster box number one. Um, I'm going to say I wasn't... I want to see more. I want to see more from an unlicensed product. We got four, four chrome inserts, two exclusive inserts. Um, so the chrome could be refractors or numbered cards. I want to see more from an unlicensed product. It is expensive. I do think it is high right now um, for what it should have been. For retail, for the blaster boxes, I think they should have been 20 to 25 um, or less. The mega boxes being 50 is not bad, though. That is not a, that is not a bad starting point. Whoa, we got something here. It's like a velocity of some sort. Eli Manning and a resurgence of Stephen Davis. So that's got to be one of the retail parallels. That's a nice looking card. But I don't mind the legends. It's all guys that aren't with the NFLPA anymore. Um, so hence all the legends. Got a midnight of LT. And a grounded refractor of a... Uh, Adrian Peterson. Okay. Got Barry Sanders there, John Elway, Kurt Warner on the refractor, Gronk, and then a Sean Alexander. So it's going to be a longer video. Grab a snack, grab a drink. And again, I don't care if people don't like unlicensed products or not. Um, really not, not a big deal to me. Um, I like them personally. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. I don't know. I just... I like seeing... I mean, I know good products when I see them. And this is definitely one of them. I mean, you look at... Um, you look at products like Select that ha that were le released at like $930 and have now dropped to around $850. Meanwhile, Topps Composite has done nothing but go up. So, you got a... Voltaic, Voltaic Pink of Joe Montana. Cool. Okay. So, the market responds, right? The market will say that this was underpriced if, uh, especially Hobby. Hobby is the one that's really gone up. Um, the market will say that this was underpriced because it has gone up, and Select was overpriced. It's just the way it is. Um, there's a JJ Watt and a Prism of Jerry Rice. That's a cool looking card. On the Topps Chrome. Topps Chrome is probably my favorite set in this. Because the Hobby Boxes are pushing north of $500 a box right now. It's kind of insane. Uh, there's a CJ Stroud. Tom Brady and a grounded Bo Jackson. Nice looking card. Deuce McAllister, we've got Barry Foster. All right, so, so far, I am unimpressed with the blaster boxes. I would have thought that you would have gotten, you know, maybe a numbered card or two per box. Um, just tells me that they produced a lot of this. I mean, yeah, you get the retail exclusive inserts and refractors, but I don't know. In, in today's world, if it's not like a short print insert or, um, or a numbered card or an auto. It's not worth as much as it could be. And you know, these are great cards to collect either way. We got a refractor of Sean Alexander. Looks like a negative refractor. An art monk there. Cool. Got a midnight of Rod Smith. And Kurt Warner on the foil. Nice. There's Mr. Brady. Got a Steve Young and a Refractor of Art Monk. There's another CJ Stroud and a Voltaic. Boomer Esiason, we got Mike Singletary. There's another CJ Stroud. Um, I did notice that CJ Stroud, Will Levis, Bryce Young, uh, Anthony Richardson, if they have cards at the back, they're always gonna follow each other. It's rare if they don't. We got a pink of Sean Alexander on the grounded. Cool. There's Stroud, and then a, another grounded of Edron James. So that, that was one of the rare instances that they did not follow each other. 
All right. Got John Elway. Midnight of Anthony Richardson. Oh, we got a Nucleus. These are always cool. Nucleus of Darren Woodson on the Cosmic. That's beautiful, man. Um, those are short print. Anthony Richardson looked pretty good in his um, return to action this week. That's God, I love these Nucleuses. I wish that was uh, like CJ Stroud or Anthony Richardson or something, but is what it is. I think Cosmic is one of the coolest sets in this product. Um, I can't wait for a fully licensed set of that. There's a Keyshawn Johnson on the X-Fractor. And last pack out of box, or blaster number three. Got Joe Thomas, Ray Lewis. All right, so. Yeah, I don't know, these blasters. I'm really hoping that the uh, Megas are a little bit better because I, I have heard that retail is pretty good. Um, I did hear that blasters are probably the worst value that you can go for. So I had to test it out for myself. All right. Got Teddy Bruschi. Chris Collinsworth on the pink. Here's a guy. Ah, CJ Stroud. There we go. Okay, more color. Darren Woodson, we got a Midnight of Sean Alexander. There's a Tom Brady and a Voltaic Refractor of Chad Johnson. Mr. Ocho Cinco. All right. Let's keep her moving. All right. Uh, it's something here. Uh, Mike Singletary on the Refractor. And Chris Collinsworth. Never mind. Just look different. Frank Gore, Kellen Winslow. That was a dud pack. Okay. We got Brady, Deuce McAllister, a pink, Barry Sanders. Nice. And we'll take there. Pink of Barry Sanders on the top's chrome. There's a base CJ on the top's chrome. Jason Cena. Oh, we got another Nucleus here. And it is going to be Adrian Peterson. That's cool. That's really cool. Anthony Richardson and Anthony Richardson there. I like that. So they're not numbered. I, I want to say they're short print, but I don't think they are because we just got two and two boxes. It mu must just be a um, a retail parallel. Dropping them. Another AP. Anthony Richardson and a grounded of Run Ricky Run. And last pack out of our last blaster. There's a Will Levis base. All right. So, yeah, blasters definitely left a little bit to be desired. Let's see how megas are. Man, I I was seeing good stuff come out of those. I had, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a little disappointed in the blasters. Um, right now, I'm saying that you should probably just you know fork over the four fifty five hundred dollars for a um for a hobby box because then you're getting the three autos plus five numbered cards per box. There's another base CJ. Um, Charles Tillman got a midnight. Of Ray Lewis. Oops. Midnight of Ray Lewis. We got a grounded Neil Anderson and a prism of Dan Fouts there. But maybe Megas will yield maybe one numbered card a box. We will see. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me what I think the longevity of this product will be. I'm not 100% sure. It's... You know, the market responded very positively to this. But at the same time, there's going to be other, you know, licensed rookie cards. We've got a Brian Westbrook on the Cosmic Refractor. Um, there's going to be other licensed products that kind of, you know, wash this out. But as far as the autos go for like CJ Stroud, Will Levis, 
um, and Bryce Young. I think those will hold their value just fine. All right. We have a Midnight, Brett Favre. Hey, we got a uh, auto, Jason Elam, kicker for the Broncos. Hey, an auto's an auto. Dexter Manley on the X Fractor. Cool. We will, we will take an auto, even though it's probably not worth all that much. On the Resurgence. All right. Cool. So far, Megas are beating them out. Got something here. Resurgence of John Elway. Looks like a blue and orange, like disco-ish. Nice looking card. I don't know why this one felt thicker. Got a Barry Foster. Midnight of Will Levis. Oh, and we did get a numbered card too of Randall Cunningham to 200. All right. So, yeah, Megas blowing it out of the park. Um, we got a numbered card and an auto. So, really no complaints from me there. That's uh, that's awesome. If you can get a numbered card and an auto in retail in the same box, that's pretty good for a $50 box. When you have a chance at CJ Stroud autos. Got Sharp there, Voltaic. Uh, X-Fractor of Andre Reed, Tom Brady, all right. All right, on to the next one. Yeah, so forgot to show the side here. Five chrome inserts, two exclusive inserts, three parallels, um, and resurgence rookies and blue and orange spark is what that's called. And then looking for chrome autographs. Okay. I do like that you get a lot of chrome in here. There's Darren uh, Woodson, Voltaic, Will Levis there. Yeah, I mean, the chrome just makes this so, so good, in my opinion. There's a base, base Anthony Richardson, Barry Sanders, we got... Something here. It's numbered. Are you an auto? Ooh, we got a numbered auto coming up. <laughs> CJ Stroud to 175. Oh my. Out of a mega box. 17 of 175 CJ Stroud auto. Oh my gosh. All right. Hands down. This wins. <laughs> yeah, the mega boxes are much better. That is uh that is a retail banger if I've ever seen one. Oh my. That's awesome. So, like I said, I do think that the the uh, autos of CJ Stroud, Bryce Young, and Will Levis are going to hold their value as long as those guys continue to play up to their standards. Bryce Young and Will Levis already have not. <laughs> CJ Stroud, though, on the other hand, did play pretty well this weekend. So, I mean, he's going to, his cards are staying the same. Will Levis there. Considering he is a Fanatics exclusive, this is the only place to get those. Um, if it's not Leaf. But, yeah, I mean, Tops did a fantastic job of um, photoshopping with these. We got Lawrence Taylor. We have a green Tops Chrome here. So this is going to be numbered as well. And it's J.J. Watt to 99. That's awesome. All right. So we have now gotten an auto and a uh, numbered card in both of our, our mega boxes. So there is a high chance that these are, are absolutely loaded. Unless I just got really lucky. Even though I did get really lucky with the C.J. Stroud auto there. That's awesome. X-Fractor of Brian Westbrook. There's more C.J. Stroud. On all the base. And last pack out of this one. All right, Doug Williams. We have 
There's a Midnight of J.J. Watt, a Refractor of Kurt. We got another numbered card. Oh, my. It's going to be Joe Montana at 125. All right. <laughs> Megas are the best out of 125 there. So we hit absolutely nothing out of the blasters, but man, these Megas are good. Do I even have... I do. Joe Montana to 125. That's awesome. Um, I know for a fact that you can hit supers in here as low as supers in here. Uh, the one of ones, because I just saw one on Twitter get hit today. So very cool out of Mega Box to be able to hit this stuff. So now the question is, do you buy this or Hobby? And I don't know. Let's open up these last four. If we get, you know, another numbered card and um, an auto per box on average, I'm going with the Megas every time. There's Randy Moss. Okay. I keep thinking that these are thick. Got Brett Favre. We got a Midnight of Donovan McNabb. Um, Jay Novacek on the X Fractor. It's uh, Jerome Bettis. That's probably... Yeah, that's a foil. Cool. Jerome Bettis on the foil. Allen and Ginter. Cool. Just got a stack of stuff. <laughs> All right. Eddie George. There's a Will Levis base. Yeah, just a base pack there. So three packs left here. We did not get a numbered card yet. No numbered card, no auto. Let's see if we can change that. Anthony Richardson on the base. There's Dante Culpepper, Jason Seahorn, a midnight of Jason Taylor. And we do have a numbered card now. Kurt Warner out of 125. That's a nice looking card on the white. Cool. And three Levises in a row. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, two more packs out of this mega, and then we got one more. Got Sean Alexander. There's a base CJ. Brett Favre, X Fractor of Chad Johnson, Mr. Ocho Cinco. All right, and one more pack out of here. There's an Anthony Richardson, Barry Sanders on the Midnight, Fred Taylor, Emmett Smith on the Prism. All right, so first one without a uh, without a auto, but we did get a numbered card. So we got two numbered cards and an auto out of our um, third third mega box, maybe. But let's see if we can beat any of those boxes with this last box. This is why we rip multiple, because I want a good judge of um, what you can hit out of these. My pile just completely fell over. Okay. Clean that up shortly. took my other pile with it okay McMahon we got a Jerry Rice and an X Fractor of Drew Bledsoe there's a Frank Gore probably a foil yep cool and Drew Bledsoe on the X Fractor all right there's Nancy Richardson Gronk and Bryce Young there. All right, so looking like those first two Megas were probably out of the ordinary. Um, we got something here. Looks like a purple, purple X Factor or something. Rod Smith. We got JJ Watt. There's a Devin Hester and 
to 150. That's going to be Anthony Munoz. Um, legend for Cincinnati. I think he's a Hall of Famer. Nice. Another numbered card out of retail. So what I'm noticing also is these are the same parallels that are in Hobby. So I don't know. If you guys want a shot at Topps Composite, don't want to pay the $500 for a hobby box, this is definitely a very, very good option. We got a Dan Marino, um, Eli Manning on the Voltaic there. And last pack. Let's see if we can get some magic in here. All right. Got a Terry Bradshaw, Midnight of Rod Smith. We got a Nucleus, it looks like. All right. What do we got? That is going to be Devin Hester on the Nucleus. That's sick. And that is going to end it off. All right. So, I would say that was a successful retail opening of Topps Composite. I mean, again, not all boxes are going to be like this. Um, I mean, we only had one absolutely banger box out of the eight that we opened. So, I would definitely stick with the Megas. Um, the Megas seem to be a lot better, much seemed at least like one numbered card per box. Um, and then you have a higher chance for autos, it looks like, out of that, because uh, we hit two of those. So here were some of our sleeved cards. Um, a lot of Stroud, AR, some other stuff in there. Some cool stuff. We got Nucleus, Devin Hester, uh, Kurt Warner to 125. There's a Joe Montana to 125 on the midnight. JJ Watt to 99. Here was our big hit was CJ Stroud to 175 on the auto. That is unbelievable for retail. Um, yeah, absolute banger. Then that we got a Jason Elam um, kicker auto, showing a little kicker love. Uh, Adrian Peterson on the Nucleus, Darren Woodson Nucleus, and Bryce Young Refractor. So very successful opening here. I mean, I understand if people don't like the unlicensed cards. Um, I'm not trying to throw shade at you at all. Um, I understand that it can throw a lot of people off, but the market did respond to this very positively. People do like this product. Um, there's a reason that it's hard to find and it's gone up in price um, over the last week, week and a half, um, as opposed to, say, Select that has been dropping. So I think there's a lot of value here, a lot of value to be had, even with it being mostly retired um, legends you still have those four top quarterbacks that you're looking for from the 2023 class, including CJ Stroud and his autos are obviously in here. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.